Good morning, everybody. Will Taylor here. And driving to Fox TV this morning, where we're going to play live with Wendy Colonna. Um, I wanted you to notice that below I've got a donation box. Not only am I raising for Strings Attached and trying to help Strings Attached survive past April 30th. Good morning, everybody. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, but there's a donation button there for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Really excited that Facebook has um, added this feature. I had a live video last night um, that I put out and I raised a hundred bucks. One person gave a hundred dollars to the um, ALS Foundation because of the live video I did. So if, it's really great that Facebook has added this feature and if you want to help multiply the, the efforts that I'm trying to do here, you can share this video right now. Right in the left hand corner there's a little share button. You can comment. The more comments you make, the more that we engage, the more that Facebook gets this out. They, they really are prioritizing the, the Facebook live feed. So this morning I'm going to Fox Television. If you're watching this anywhere in the world, you can see this online this morning. Uh, Fox Austin TV and we're playing live with Hans Bilger on bass and Wendy Colonna. Uh, who's an amazing Austin songwriter that I have known for about two decades. And we're going to be playing live on the TV uh, between 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. Hey, John Steinman. Hey, George. How's it going? Good morning. Guys, just share this. Share, share, share like crazy. Let's see how, how much money we can raise for the Susan G. Komen Foundation below. And stringsattached.bandcamp.com if you want to double up your donations for Strings Attached. And my topic this morning, I've been making these videos. Um, some of them are a little more geared toward um, musicians, a little more technical, but um, even a lay person or a non-musician, anybody that's heard music will understand what I'm talking about this morning. They'll kind of get the feel about it. But have you noticed that in traditional music, especially Irish music or music of the Appalachians, that there is this absence of the fourth degree of the scale and what that usually sets up is this beautiful pentatonic um, set of notes. There's a there's a sort of a dominant reliance on five notes, the five note pentatonic scale, whether it be minor or major. Um, and this seems to be you can find this all around the world. Bobby McFerrin. There's a very famous video where Bobby McFerrin. <clears throat> Uh, kind of demonstrates that the pentatonic scale is ingrained in our consciousness. So the pentatonic scale being do, re, mi, then fa, the fourth degree with do, re, mi, fa, that is the fourth degree. Da, 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 da. That's the five, five note major pentatonic scale. One, two, three, five, six, one, right? So if you take a melody like Come Thou Font of Every Blessing, right? It starts on the third degree. So each note of the scale has a degree. One, two, three, four. That degree, the fourth degree, is a half step away from the third degree. So a lot of these beautiful uh, European um, Irish melodies, uh, Appalachian melodies, basically they don't ever use the fourth degree in the melody. And so you get something like Come Thou Font of Every Blessing. Beautiful. <clears throat> Now they may use the seventh degree very lightly as a as a uh, ornament, but come thou font is. Let's see if I can get it. Is anybody playing an instrument? I want to see if I can nail the key. I'm listening to my violin in my head, so let's see if I can do, try to do perfect pitch. That's an F sharp. La da da da. So it's. Three, three, one, three, two, one, one, three. Five, two, two, three, five, six, five, three, two, one. So you see there's no one, two, three, four. There's no fourth degree in there. The fourth degree is kind of like a whole different universe. And so they avoid it. So three, two, one, la, da, 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 la, da, 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 la, da, da. That's come thou font of every blessing. Now when it goes to the bridge section of the melody. La da da da. It hits the seventh degree very briefly. La da 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 da. Out of seven, one, seven, six, five, one. And then it repeats the top. Three, two, one, one, three, five. I mean, yeah. One, uh, two, two, three, 
five, six, three, two, one. So very interesting. If you look at the other melody uh, from the Apple, another melody from Appalachia. I want you guys. Can you find one that doesn't follow that convention? So <clears throat> I'm on the way to Fox TV this morning. If you just tuned in, we're fundraising for Strings Attached. Uh, we're building patron sustainers. We're also fundraising for the, for the Susan G. Um, Coleman Foundation right there. And uh, so, um, and that's that's uh, a little belated uh, Women's Day uh, celebration here. We're going to be on the TV this morning with Wendy Colonna, and I'm asking you to share this live post. This is a uh, behind the music, under the hood, under the musical hood live video from I-35, and I've got my little thing here set up so that I can just have a conversation with you guys on the way to the TV station this morning. So the and I'm just. I think it's really interesting that if I talk quieter, can you guys still hear me? That these folk melodies kind of use this pentatonic scale with an occasional throwing in the seventh degree. So, do you guys know um, Star of the County Down? Okay, so that that's in a Star of the County Down is in a minor key. So it goes. It's if you start on the the uh, five, which was, so it's on the five, no, da, five, seven, one, that's, da, 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 seven, da, three, da, four, da, 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 so the f fourth degree in there would be, da, da, that would be the fourth degree, da, da, so that doesn't really hit the fourth degree either. Ever. So it's very interesting to me that the traditional ear, the ear of the folks that would sing these melodies and they would pass on by, by ear, by an oral tradition, oral tradition, um, they would avoid that fourth degree, which is, is, is sort of like a whole different world harmonically in, in the way it sounds. You can kind of hear that, right? Even if you're not a musician. La, da, da, that's totally avoiding the fourth degree. So that's E, G, A, E. If, now the fourth degree would be E, F, G, A. Do you see how it sounds really like a different world? All right, can you guys name any more melodies? Any musicians out there watching this where traditional music tends to use only that pentatonic scale? The uh, one, two, three, five, six, one pentatonic scale. If you go down on the piano, that would be C, D, E, G, A. And it may hit the fourth degree at some point, but it's just very, very light, very, very light touch, just touching it with a feather. And it may also hit the seventh degree, but again, very light touch. I just love that. I've noticed that recently. So, um, 10 of you are watching right now. I'm headed to Fox TV, going to play online with Wendy Colonna. And I want to say thanks to the musicians that I've tagged. I hope they don't mind that I tagged them this morning. Some of the musicians that are playing on TV with us, Hans Bielger, Wendy Colonna is tagged. I think she's on I-35 right now. We're headed to Fox TV where we're going to play live. I'm fundraising for Strings Attached, fundraising for Susan Coleman Foundation, the Susan G. Coleman Foundation right there on the left. There's a little button. You can share this, you can comment, and you can donate. So as long as there's people online, I'm going to keep talking here. Da, da, da. There's another melody uh, called The Musical Priest. Okay, The Musical Priest is a fiddle tune in B minor, and like the Star of the County Down, it uses the minor pentatonic scale. The minor pentatonic um, version of, of, basically there's just two pentatonics that most things are based on. Most traditional music, you've got the one, two, three, right? Five, six, and one. And then you would just go to your relative major and use those same notes. So if we're in C, you're going to start on A. So it'd be uh, that would be actually uh, let's see. Let's just go back uh, and I'll sing the scale. So that's one, three, four, five, seven, one. So star of I mean um, musical priest. It uses only one, three in a minor key, one, three, four, five, seven, with occasional C sharp, or occasional sharp seven in there. So, let's see. So that's the one, seven, let's see. 
da, yep. So that's one seven five da, 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 ba 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 da, 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 da. So a lot of those beautiful um, fiddle melodies rarely go to the four. So that's just very interesting in the color and the sound of that. I just love that. I love. So when we're improvising in something like that, we want to avoid the fourth degree. If we know that melody, that song that we're improvising, I'm going to try that this morning with Wendy Colonna's song, actually. She has a tune we're playing this morning called Dance. Nope, that's a jazz tune. There's a song that we're playing this morning, sorry, Wendy, um, that's in the key of A. And it has a six minor chord in it. And I am going to try improvising using the pentatonic scale of that key, the major pentatonic, which would be A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, A. And that pentatonic, that major pentatonic scale works beautifully over the six minor. In other words, the chord that's built on the sixth degree, which would be F sharp minor. And then when it goes to the five, that also works good on the four chord. So we've got the four chord, obviously I'd have to add a D, the fourth degree to that. But I can also use the E, F sharp, A, B in that scale. So I would just have to, I, I could take, I could actually avoid the fourth degree and see how that sounds and just keep that nice pentatonic scale working over it. So I'm going to try that this morning on TV so let you see what you guys think about that. And when I go to the five chord in the key of A, that would be what? The key, that would be E. So I could still play that scale, but add a G sharp to it, right? And avoid the A natural. What do you think? 11 of you are watching. There's lots of music theory nuts out here. I find that when I started playing traditional music, I'd been a jazzer for all these years, and I found that, I'd, that I um, had to stop thinking so much and just kind of base things on the key area of whatever the folk tune was, and I found that I more, you know, interesting appropriate melodies came about when I stopped thinking of what chromatic tones could I play and over chords and think more of just generally the key area and the pentatonic scale in the blues. But the blues is also interesting too because there's different flavors of the blues that you can play and sometimes that flatted fifth isn't always appropriate to play, if you know what I mean, over any of the folk material that you're playing. It's all a matter of taste. And I find it's fun to listen to other great musicians and see what they do, what their tastes are, how what they play over folk or traditional changes, which tend to be root changes, right? Yeah. Root position changes. Not always, but... <clears throat> um, okay, I'm going to tune out for now, and I'll see many of you on the TV this morning. Please check out the link below to donate to the Susan G. Cohen Foundation. Also, if you want to help Strings Attached live donation-based performances to survive past April 30th, stringsattached.bandcamp.com. We do um, <clears throat> a performance every single week at El Mercado. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have our um, performance broadcast live here on Facebook, so if you don't have TV, you can watch it here on my channel. Just click on the left-hand side where it says uh, notify me when I go live, and I'll have another donation link. <clears throat> and could anybody make a suggestion of a, another charity that I could put there on the link on the live video this morning when we're on TV? Make a suggestion. I'll pick one from the suggestion in the comments. Okay, love all of you. See you on Fox TV Austin this morning. We'll be broadcasting live here. We'll also be at El Mercado tonight with Wendy Colonna, Hans Bielger, Brad Evilsizer, who I think I tagged in this. Uh, Steven Circle on trumpet and keyboards, and it was fun chatting with you this morning.